The geocut is the machine used for cutting large rock samples. Basic functions is light fitting for two LED lights onto your work area. The pump switch allows the flow of water onto your blade and your work sample. The water can be mains fed or through a recirculating pump. The start stop functions work the motor for the blade. The lead at the back with the Hartling plug connects straight to the pump unit on the recirculating tank therefore controlled by the machine when you turn the pump switch on and off. The drain fittings can either be dumped straight to the main drain or into buckets or into the recirculating tank. At the front of the machine you have three handles for working your three axis. This handle creates the X axis movement onto your table. This handle works the Y axis of your table feeding your workpiece into the blade. This handle operates the chop function the raising and lowering of your motor and blade in the z-axis. The blade on this particular machine is 300mm diameter, diamond coated edge for cutting rock samples. It's important to dress the wheel at least once a week if you're cutting seven to eight samples a day. To dress the wheel you use a diamond dressing stick clamped onto your table. Position the dressing stick close to your blade. Start the machine with the water flowing and cut straight through the dressing stick. This particular vise can clamp same shaped rock samples ready for cutting. Secure tightly and position into your blade area cut one side flat and cut another one 10 to 15 mil in size giving you enough to carry on onto the next process. To change the vice clamps is fairly straightforward. Loosen your bolts and slide the vice from your T slotted table. There are a variety of different clamps available with this machine. The horseshoe clamp again slides into the table. And you can slide your work piece underneath to clamp unusual sizes of rock. For this demonstration purpose, we've chosen this clamp. Position your water feed on the outside edge to the outer edge of the blade, the inner one just slightly inwards, as this will be the most contact with the rock sample. To ensure you have water flow, turn on the pump. Close the lid and start. The lid will not lift with the motor starting due to the safety system. Feed the workpiece slowly into the blade.
this first cut gives you a flat edge on your test piece. Wind the x-axis table in 10 to 15 mil to give you a suitable size to work with onto the geoform. Repeat the procedure. Your test piece will be at your suitable thickness between 10 and 15 mil. Any excess can be trimmed off by either using an alternative vise or onto the geoform. To trim your sample to size, use an alternative clamp and trim to obtain 10 to 15 mil width samples, which can be carried forward to your geoform for the next procedure. It is worth keeping your machine in a clean condition after each cut to prevent cross-contamination between rock samples and general maintenance of your machine. Once cleaned and wiped, leave the door open to allow evaporation of any water left in the work area.